The latest version of Mid Journey has provided the opportunity to create digital products like seamless patterns or what some people call digital seamless paper that can be used to create endless amount of products like tumblers, pillowcases, handbags, phone cases and so on. So in this video, I will take you step by step through the process of creating and selling beautiful and marketable patterns with Mid Journey version 5. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Zini and welcome to Zini Studio. In case you're wondering what a seamless pattern is, so a seamless pattern is a pattern basically that can be repeated endlessly without a visible seams or interruptions. So let's look at some of the existing pattern stores we have on Etsy. So one of it is, we have here is Sweet Shop Design. You could see that they have made over 36 thousand sales since the inception of the store and they sell basically seamless patterns they have very interesting ones are very colorful ones so you could use this as a form of inspiration another store i wanted to show you would be um old market so old market has made over seventy five thousand sales and they sell all different kinds of seamless patterns to um, spring floral to roses to summer floral and different other thumbs types of seamless patterns then the last store that i'll be showing you would be the design lover studio they have also made over seventy nine thousand sales and they have very beautiful patterns i was looking through it and i was like amazed in what they had created they have very beautiful ones for easter this is for easter as well so you could look through the stores and get inspiration. Um, one important thing I have to mention is that before you dive into creating seamless patterns or opening a store for seamless patterns, you need to do a niche research to understand demand, competition, product analysis. I've linked a video in the cart above that takes you through step by step of how to do niche research on Etsy. So you understand whether you want to have your energy focused on building a seamless pattern store or not with that being said now let's go over to me journey version 5 so i could show you how to create these patterns so we come over to me journey and we type in the slash and imagine but before we do that we also need to check to make sure that we are using me journey 5 because Mid Journey 4 doesn't have the future we'll be using to generate the patterns. So we hit enter and just to be sure it's in Mid Journey 5, then we dismiss. Then we put in the slash and put in imagine. So I'll be showing you a couple of examples with feathers, roses, and some stripes. So you could see different examples. So I'm just going to get a prompt. So what I'm going to type in, I'm going to say Claire Dixon Feather Pattern, comma, HD. The important thing you need to put in to make sure that you get the towel or the pattern feature is these two dashes with the word towel or else you're not going to get a seamless pattern. And I will show you a site you could use to check if this pattern is generated is seamless. So we hit enter and allow me journey to do a stain. Okay, so it's done generating a pattern. So you could see how these patterns look. They look really nice. This is nice. Even the colorful ones are nice as well. So let's just upscale one, two, three. So we could just upscale. Then it loads immediately. We could upscale this. And let's upscale the third one as well. And if you don't like any of this, you could always re-roll to create what you want or modify the prompt. So let's look at this. You see how nice this looks? So for you to know whether this is a seamless pattern or whether the pattern will look nice when you use it. So what you could do is, first of all, is to save this. So let's quickly save this. Okay, so we have saved this. So this is the image. So you go to this website. I also put the link in the description box is a seamless texture checker. So what you're going to do is to drag in the image you have downloaded 
and check if it makes a nice pattern so let's drag in that image so we drag it in and you could see the pattern is not bad so you could zoom in to see how it looks you could zoom out to see if you make it very tiny so you can use this to check the pattern to know to make sure that there's no joints somewhere this looks really cool okay so let me also test some other ones that i had downloaded and worked on previously so let's pull this in this is another one you can see how pretty this looks so it's also seamless so you could reduce and increase just to see so this is what you would do for all your seamless patterns that you generate okay so now that we have generated feathers let's go ahead to generate another um, example so i'll be doing that for roses so i'm going to use the same imagine prompt so you put in slash imagine and then paste remember you have to put in the tile and enter and allow it to do its thing okay so this is done so let's look at this this looks stunning this really looks beautiful so let's upscale four this looks stunning so let me save it and we'll do the checker again just to be sure that everything turns out right so this is how it looks it looks really beautiful so let's just check come to the seamless checker and i'm gonna drag it in just to see this looks nice let's reduce it a bit oh yeah so this is how to create all kinds of pattern that you want so the last two example i'll be showing is how to create like a tiger stripe so i would put in the same imagine and i'm gonna paste the prompt black and white tiger stripes the same tiles and enter okay so this is done let's see if we like any pattern that it generated this is not bad let's upscale the number four it has some things within it so you need to be sure whether you want to maintain it or you want to regenerate let's just maintain it for sake of this video and just save again so we want to check if this pattern will look nice on products or depending on what you want to use it for then we'll go to our seamless checker again and we're going to pull in the print and to see how it looks it doesn't look bad but if you are going for this aesthetics then you could go with it or if not you could make a change and generate more patterns so this is how to generate seamless patterns using the tile function in me journey 5 so i'll be leaving all the prompts that i used in the description box so you could check that out and if you're enjoying this video and finding value be sure to like this um, video and subscribe to join this community so once you're done generating your patterns in me journey version 5 the next thing you need to do is you need to upscale it because the sizes that i found that people sell on etsy are quite large so you need to upscale it so you don't lose those details so i've dragged the one we created in and upscaled and downloaded it this is the upscaled version you could see how beautiful and clear it is so once we have done this we would need to save so let's just save the upscaled version and once you are done saving it the next thing that you need to do is to take it to photoshop and what we're going to do in photoshop is you're going to create patterns in photoshop so let me pull up my photoshop so this is your photoshop you go to create based on the sizes i'm seeing it has to be 12 to 12 inches and 300 dpi in terms of resolution and let's just call it patterns two and say okay it's going to give us a blank white canvas what we're going to do 
first of all before we use that white blank canvas we're going to drag in this the upscaled image here so we could create a pattern from it so we drag this and drop once you drag and drop it's going to bring it in into photoshop so the next thing is to define the pattern the next thing you're going to do is go to edit and go to define pattern and click on it and it's going to define your pattern you could give it a name i will just leave the name that it came with and say okay it has defined the pattern so let's go back to the canvas of the 12 by 12 that we created and the next thing we're going to bring in this pattern to create multiple patterns so you, when you come here you would see the symbol patterns then you click on it and we will choose the pattern that we want to create and we click on it and it creates a pattern for us so you could see that it's seamless as well and everything looks okay so this is the one you will be giving your customers or providing your customers with so they could create multiple things they want to create it for so after you have created the pattern the next thing is to export it so you go to file and go to export we would go to export as and wait for this to load um we don't want it transparent so we'll tick off the transparent and we want it in png so you could offer this file as a png file or as a jpeg file so we'll just offer it as png we wait for it to finish reviewing before we could export so it's done its preview so we could now click on export it's going to ask you where do you want to save it so we'll just say pattern 2 and we'll just save it where we want to save it so it's done so let's see how it looks in the picture format so this is how it looks it looks really nice so you could see that even if you zoom in it maintains the resolution and everything looks crispy and nice and this is the file you will be offering your customers this upscaled file that has multiple patterns and once this is done you will just create your listing on etsy and then upload your file and when it the customer makes a purchase you this file will deliver to them um if you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to open your etsy store create a listing and upload i've linked a video in the cart above so you could watch that as well so after we have prepped our design and we're ready to sell you would ask what does it cost to start this side hustle or to start this business so the first cost cost would be mid journey subscription so the mid journey subscription has the ten dollar the thirty dollar and the sixty dollar i will i will recommend you subscribe to the $30 because it gives you unlimited access to images and you could have multiple retries in case you have any make any mistake but if you want your designs to be hidden you don't want anyone to have access to it then you can go for the $60 subscription which would give you the stealth mode so that is for mid journey so then next would be photoshop so photoshop is about 27 dollars 99 if you have photoshop already then that would be a cost for you but if you don't have a photoshop that would be an additional cost the last cost would be um it's opening an etsy store so etsy charges for 20 cents per listing when you open a store and every other fees is basically until you make a sale but to avoid that amount of money in when you open the store i have a link in the description that gives you access to 40 free listings when you open your easy store so in total you'll be spending around 57 dollars and 99 cents to start this so there you have it if you miss the mock-up video that i created you could check that video out and also be sure to like subscribe and turn on your bell notification to know when i post a new video Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.